Welcome to Android Tips and Tricks. My name is Patrick McCarrick from droidclass.com and I'm here to talk today about a common question I get when teaching a class about the Android and that is how do I assign a custom ringtone to an individual when they text message me? And how do I get a long ringtone put on there as opposed to the ones that are short so I have a good chance of hearing when I have a text message. Now it's really very very simple. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to download two applications. And those applications are Handsent SMS and the other one is Zedge, Z-E-D-G-E. -E. Now Handsent, H-A-N-D-C-E-N-T, SMS is a application that replaces your current messaging application, text messaging application on your phone. And the reason I like it is because it is completely customizable. We can customize it down to the individual contact level. So uh, person A, for example, will have one notification style. Person B will have a second. So a different ringtone, a different message notification icon. Um, Zedge here is a application you download. Both of these applications are free, by the way, from the marketplace. But Zedge is a application you download that gives you access to over 500,000 ringtones and wallpapers out there, and they're all free. So let's start by looking at Handsent. I have it installed already on this Android. So if we look here, uh, we'll see that the whole system is very f very familiar, it should be very familiar to you. It's based on the standard messaging application that we have out there from Android. Uh, the difference being, like I said, that we can customize it. So I'll show you an example here. I'm going to pick Alan. And if you look at Alan's style here, it's what we call the Handsent Classic style. Uh, the colors, the way that the, um, the bubbles appear, and that's all basically Handsent Classic. Now, that's associated with Alan. If I go back here and I select, shall we say, Lynn down here, Lynn's is basically a iPhone style um, text theme, for lack of a better word. And if you, you know, you are familiar with iPhone, you may like this style better than the others. But there are four styles you can choose from. So let's go in and, and modify a style. So we're going to pick John Smith up here. And you'll notice up in the top there's a little settings icon and that's particular to John Smith. So anything we change here is only going to be reflected in John Smith when he basically texts us. So touching on the settings icon, I see I can now personalize John's notification, his bubble settings, and I can personalize my sending settings for John. I can put in a custom um, signature for example. So let's start with the bubble settings. So the bubble settings right now are like this up here, but we can change that to the com by clicking conversation style. And let's pick iPhone. And you'll see it changes. And we'll say we're OK with that. Back out and save. So once again now, you'll see that it's changed to the uh, iPhone style. If I go up here now and change the notification settings, and this is where we'll set the different ringtones and the different notifications. So we'll give him a notification icon. We'll click on that and we'll click uh, with a orange pop icon. And notification sound, we'll select one of the system ringtones. And as you can hear, they're very, very short. Now we're going to test it as if John had sent us a text. So, so you'll see up there the, in the system bar, it notifies us with the orange icon that John has uh, texted us and the short little chime played from Android. Now the question is how do we go about getting a longer ringtone or a longer notification sound? So quite simply we'll just go back to our home page and we'll go into Zedge. Now like I said Zedge is a great application. Very simple either wallpapers or ringtones. So we're going to select ringtones and it automatically brings up all these ringtones. I think this right now here is set to um, the latest ones that came out this week. So I'm just going to pick one here. Uh, let's say Nokia Best. So once we select it, it will download it.
and play it. Now, that was a very long ringtone. We only played about a quarter of it. Uh, you want to be aware of that. Um, when you do download them, if you do attach that to a text message, it's going to play the whole way through the text message. So keep that in mind. If we want to download it, we simply click on the download icon right here. And it'll take a minute or two for it to download because it is quite a large, um, large file. You'll also notice there's an email option, and that email option will allow you to email this to someone else. A favorite icon, if you like it as your favorite and information. Now you'll notice that the download icon changed to a set icon, which is a round circle. Click on that, and we can set that now as a default ringtone, a contact ringtone, if we want to attach it to someone. Um, but in this case, we're going to go back to our hand sent. And back in our hand sent, we're going to go to the notification sounds. And in notification sounds, we're going to select Zed ringtones. And here are the ones I downloaded. So I'm actually going to put in iPhone message. Set ringtone. And now when I do a test notification for John, you'll notice that it um, basically plays that tune plus a different pop-up icon. So that's basically how you set your long ringtone, custom ringtone, and notification for a text message for an individual contact using the Android platform. Thanks, and I hope to hear from you guys soon.